What is up YouTube? So today what I have in store for you is the Omni Charge 20. Okay, this is an older one, an older generation. It's the 2013 edition. And the reason why I'm going over this is to see if it's worth the value, what to watch out for when you're looking for an Omni Charge, what its features are, and whether or not it's right for you to buy. So let's get into this review and see what it's all about. Okay, so the first thing you get, of course this one's used, so it didn't come with everything that you probably get in the box. Um, but it comes with your charging brick, a little flip out, and then it's this style charger. They do have the Omni Charge 20 Plus and the 20C, and I'll show you the differences between those and uh, between this and that, those other ones. Okay, but let's go over what you get. Okay, so this one here, you power it on, you're greeted with the Omni Charge uh, setup here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's an LCD display. It tells you uh, how many watt hours you have, your battery, um, what you're on. So you can either turn on right here, the plug, which is 110, or you could turn on uh, your USB stuff right here um, to charge your devices. Or you could turn them off and regulate it like that. So if you have everything plugged in and you only want to charge maybe your USB devices, then you could do so by just selecting that a little USB symbol comes up. So this is what the display looks like. Um, you have your watts here, your watts here, uh, your temperature, and then your time. Um, and then you have your battery percentage and your watt hours over here. And then on these buttons here, when you select them, you'll notice that this lights up and that just basically says USB. And then you select the top one and that says DC power. So what that means is you could charge, you could have everything plugged in at once and then you could choose what you want to be charged. So say I had, um, uh, something plugged in like a laptop here and my phone here but i want all the power to go to my laptop all i got to do is select that button and it'll turn off um, this area and turn on this side okay it's hard to focus in it's not getting that display but it uh, also comes with your power so you could select that and then it'll turn it off the display or you could push in hold it and it'll eliminate the power all to the device altogether okay okay so what it looks like is you have you know your branding here your 110 outlet here you have all your uh your lcd display power uh your modes between this side and this side and then you have your cooling area here and the power and then on the back side it tells you how many um amp hours it is which is 2400 so it's 20,400 milliamps and then it's 73 uh, watt hours at 3.6 volts. It gives you everything else there. Um, the design of it's really nice, just the look of it. And uh, it's all personal preference. To kind of put it in perspective of how big it is, um, this is my Anchor charging brick, okay? This is how many ports it has, and this is its size, approximately. You could kind of size it up based on that, okay? So, do I recommend this? Um, not this one in particular. And the reason why, or the reason being, is I believe, well, from the looks of it, it looks like the same as the 20C+. Plus or the 20 plus um the difference is with the 20 plus you get wireless charging here um which this one you don't so i'm gonna power it on and i'm gonna charge my phone so we'll look here and nothing shows up on the actual phone itself indicating that it's um gonna charge all right so that sucks okay Another reason why I wouldn't recommend this one in particular is because you turn on the DC 
So I'll turn on the DC, plug this in, right? And I get no light here. So this one I think is defective, so it's going back, okay? Um, that's unacceptable. Uh, but that's not one of the reasons why I wouldn't recommend this one, okay? The 20 C or the 20 plus has your 110 power here. It has your USB here, but it also comes with an option to run the type C here, which is really nice. Um, the 20 C actually gives you two USB. So it doesn't come with the 110, uh, but it does come with the um, type C plugs. So that's basically all it is. Um, Everything else is self-explanatory. It's your power bank. Do I recommend this size? Um, if you don't care about the 110 outlet, you might as well buy like an anchor power uh, bank that's like half this size and it supplies the same amount of power. Okay, so to prove that this works, as you can see, I have it plugged in and it lights up blue. So this isn't the problem. It's the power, uh, the bank, the battery bank here so i mean it is what it is it's going back so that's going to complete today's video if you like this video give it a thumbs up it was just a brief overview on what to look for in these power packs um if you like this content and you want to see other content like this i'll be posting in the near future definitely consider subscribing until next time i'll see y'all in the next one